Hello, hi, and welcome to Empathic Fire. I'm your reader, Jay. These are going to be general messages for the sign of Leo in the month of March 2019. Hello, Leo. What's going on, guys? How are you doing? Don't know why I'm doing weird accents for you guys, but there you go. Leo, I hope you guys are doing well. Hope everything in your life is going fabulously, okay? Shuffled off camera, that's your main spread there. We'll shuffle now for your outcome and your overall energy. Once all the cards are out and they're lying face up on the board, that is when the reading begins. Look in the description box below if you want to tag the timestamp there and jump ahead to the reading, actual the actual beginning of the reading. That's cool, I understand. Uh, also down there, you will find the information you need if you want to get a personal reading with me. Readings are $25 and the steps are pretty simple. But if you do have questions that are not related to a specific question, you can also email me at the uh, email address down there and I'll be happy to answer you, okay? Uh, yeah, that's it. Let's get your outcome, okay? Outcome for Leo in March 2019, please. Oof. No, no, okay. Almost. There it is. I was like, that one's coming out. And I flipped it prematurely, but there you go. <laughs> And bottom of the deck is the overall energy. And let's go ahead and flip the rest. Oh my, what's going on, Leo? Woof. Woof. Woof, woof, woof. What? Well, well. Well. Interesting. Dark. It's dark colors up here. All right. Uh, please show me Leo in March 2019. Please show me where Mar <laughs> March is. Please show me where Leo is in March 2019. Please show me Leo in March 2019. Please show me Leo. Mmm. Here. Okay. Well, coming into March, Leo, you come in as the King of Pentacles in reverse. I'll show you this card upright, just so you can become used to it. This is called the Happy Tarot deck, in case you were wondering. But reversed, right? So, oh, Leo, what's going on? Financial stuff? Financial troubles, possibly, for some of you? Possibly not having such a head for money right now maybe you're spending too much maybe you are you know over budget or uh, you know just kind of having a hard time keeping money in the bank for some of you um, but if it's not about your finances specifically I feel for you Leo that you're just not you're just but you're not being as practical as you could be about something you're not being as level-headed or as mm, uh smart really <laughs> you're really not being as smart about something as you could be um you might not be putting a lot of time into something so that might mean you're rushing you, you know you, you might be impatient you know when 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 you see the king of pentacles and he's in his upright and he's in his high uh, quality or he's at his high function uh as you might be able to think of it that way he is very patient he's very methodical he's very measured and he's critical and calculated but not manipulative it's not in a in a derogatory way right but being that this is in the reverse i feel that some of you are suffering uh, with impatience you're not focused on the long game some of you might be wanting instant gratification and i mean as a leo what else is there <laughs> uh so you might be pushing for something and you might be living outside of your means so there is a caution for you in march to kind of pull back a little bit uh try your best not to get too ahead of yourself or to in some cases lack fidelity now that could mean in you know in your romantic or your dating life be faithful 
But what I'm feeling is fidelity as in being like true to the plan, true to the vision, true to the idea or the ideal, right? Because, excuse me, in terms of like kind of having all the ducks in a row and kind of having all the boxes checked for what makes the most sense, for what is mm, beneficial to all, the King of Pentacles is very close to that when he's in his upright position. But again, this is in the reverse, so you're kind of lacking that or you kind of are off track from that. So if you want things to be done right, and if you want your needs and your desires met financially, romantically, wherever this resonates for you, Leo, you kind of have to have a more measured approach. I feel there's a push behind this guy. Like you're pushing and you're pushing. You might be too demanding. When he's in the reverse, um, he can become quite a terror. He can become sort of... Uh, I believe the word I want to use is impudent, right? He, he becomes not sassy, but he becomes Im almost unbearable to deal with. So be careful. Don't, don't, uh, don't allow yourself to become unbearable because, you know, Leo, you would find that incredibly embarrassing. And so God knows you don't want to be embarrassed. So that's where you're starting. Now, what are we, what else are we doing in March? Cause it's a doozy. I'm going to tell you, it's not super pretty. <laughs> but we can hope, huh? So, well, he's here because you've been stuck and and lost. Yes. Oh, poor Leah. You've been going through it, yeah? So you've been stuck. Where, stuck where? You've been stuck with this Eight of Swords right next door. Uh, so that might mean something because I don't, I don't know why, but they want me to say that next door. So some of you might be stuck next door. What do I mean? Like, you might be stuck in a situation that is in your proximity, yeah? So you might be living in a place that's unbearable, or you might be living in a place that, you know, you can't get out of because of a lease, you know what I mean? So you might be physically tied to a place that you regularly visit or have to stay at, okay? Um, but the Eight of Swords is more about mentally what's going on. You mentally feel that way. And, and that would make sense too. You know, a lease is a contract. And I mean, I don't think they throw you in jail for breaking a lease, but they would, you know, fine you and take your money. But you're not literally bound to that home or to that job or whatever place, physical place that you hate to go to or whatever physical place that you go to and you feel uncomfortable. Um, that's all in your head. You can break a lease. You can, you know, lose your deposit and all that kind of stuff. It's all possible. It's not ideal, but that is literally a an option for you. So that's what I'm seeing here is like you have been stuck in a mindset. You've been stuck in a belief system, many of you, uh, when really... The danger or the mm, the consequences or the the, the 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 difficulty of it is really a figment of your of your imagination or it's systemically a part of your belief system like I was just saying it's something that has been ingrained in you for years you feel super attached to this idea that you can't move to a certain place or you can't get out of a certain situation or you can't defeat in some cases defeat a certain problem or 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 find a solution to a certain problem and that is just false and you're aware of that i'm not telling you anything like you're not already aware of you're super aware of this um but i think it crops up every once in a while i think it kind of flares up it kind of comes back every once in a while and you kind of have to, you know, muster up your strength or muster up your your uh, your courage and, and 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 your energy to face this down again, Leo. It's it's something that's chronic with you. It's something that for many of you is lifelong, and yeah, it's not completely finished. But I think your awareness of this, whatever it is, a belief system, self doubt anxiety in some cases or depression in some cases you are aware 
And I want to commend you for being aware because a lot of people walk around, regardless of their zodiac sign, regardless of their age or anything like that. A lot of people just walk around with blinders on. And Leo, I want to commend you because I feel it. You don't want these blinders. This woman in this card, this little person here on that card is totally blindfolded. And you hate that. You don't like that you have for a long time been unaware You've because you feel you've wasted time. If I was aware of this five years ago, two years ago, 15 years ago, I could have been wherever else. But because I was blind, because I was stuck, because I believed in this or because I was convinced of this, I've spent all this time on this freaking hamster wheel, not making moves, not being able to to really uh, 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 see myself here, but in in the upright position, you know? So there's a stall, I feel. You've been stalled or you've been held back and restricted. A lot of you, it was because of your own conditioning or things that you uh, sort of co-signed into believing. In other cases, it was circumstantial, in excuse me, circumstantial, but overall, I feel it was mostly in your mind. And that's tricky, you know? The mind is a powerful thing. So I, I commend you for, like I said, being aware. You are aware now. If you're not aware now, I'm giving you the, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm waving a flag in your face. Be aware. It's just a part of your, you know, it's just a mental condition that you have or, or a mental, uh, uh, not a mental belief, but a belief. You know, it's a self-prophesized belief in some cases, okay? And you can break away from that. And you want to, you know, because above your starting position, you have that eight of cups right there. So you've been wanting, I feel that this is something that has been going on for a while, and you've been actively searching for something, something, some type of remedy, something that is missing, right? Because what do we want when we see the cups cards or the cup suit? We want to have a full collection of cups, nine, 10 cups. That's what we want. Because when you get to the nine, that's wish fulfillment. And when you get to the 10, that is just like ultimate happiness. That is just like the cream of the crop in terms of happiness, yeah? And so when we're at the eight, we're so close to it, but being close isn't good enough. Look at like how, you know, sort of gloomy some of this coloring is on this card. And, you know, it's under moonlight, so it's shadowy, it's not bright, it's not festive. So you've been on a mission, Leo actively or passively, spiritually or consciously, however it falls into your life. But you have been seeking for your wish fulfillment. You've been seeking for more. You've been seeking for clarity and, and, and contentment and all of these things. And I think the point of this showing up here is that your journey continues. Your journey continues. You know, there. I don't feel within the month of March you're going to come to some grand epiphany. Some of you might, you know, just for the sake of probability, but I don't feel March is going to give you some grand revelations. I think March is going to be, you know, sort of a continuance uh, or a continuation of what you already know, which is I'm not 100% happy with what's going on in my life in this area or what's going on in this relationship or what's going on with my own development or my own uh, outlook on life. And I want to progress. I want to see it improve. So you're going to make moves to make that happen. Now, the interesting thing that I feel is that the move some of you have made hasn't been the best. Yeah. Or, well, two things. Thank you. Hmm, over three things maybe now. You're giving me a lot here. Okay. Now, for some of you, Six of Swords in Reverse is what this is. Let me show you upright so you can become used to this card. Did I mention this is the Happy Tarot deck? I think I did. Yeah. All right. So for some of you, the move you're making isn't helpful. Why is that? Because I feel you're circling back to something. I feel that you find yourself sort of stuck in a loop. You're kind of like on a spin cycle in a, in a, in a, in a, in a washing machine sort of, and you're not really going anywhere. You keep thinking the problem is this one particular thing, but it's not, or you're thinking the solution is this one thing, but it's not. And you keep finding yourself sort of paddling up this river, uh, and, and against this strong current, never making it to shore, never making it to safer, calmer waters. You're never able to stop rowing. You're, you, you, 
unfortunately, for some reason, and, be, and because it's above that Eight of Swords, it could be because of that doubt or that anxiety, that depression. And, and that would make sense. If you have been suffering with depression or anything else like that, and you have to keep coming back and addressing it, maybe some of you are on medication for it or you've or you've avoided medication and maybe now you'll start to explore it or vice versa you've been on medication but it never really works and maybe there's some other type of therapy out there that could help you but you have to constantly come back to the baseline of well i'm clinically depressed well i suffer from social anxiety or ptsd or whatever it is and you keep coming back to that baseline of well i'm still in this damn boat and I'm not going anywhere. So that's for some of you, is that the issue persists, the solutions that you've tried haven't benefited you, haven't really panned out and given you what you need. Um, for others of you, oh, how can I say that? You're journeying back towards something and you don't need to. For the previous people I was just talking to, you have to go back because just the choices that you're making or how you're how you're approaching the problem needs to change. The problem is correct. You found the right problem, you found the source of what's what's holding you back. You just have to tackle it a different way. For some of you, you keep going back to a problem that isn't a problem or you keep going back to something that needs to just be left alone. Okay, uh, that could be certain behaviors, that could be certain situations or relationships, and you circle back to it because of comfortability, because of familiarity, yeah? And you believe it's good. It's not. It's not, okay? If, y yes, you believe it's good, yeah? In your mind. Oh, if I keep going back to that person and, you know, they let me, you know, crash on their couch for a night, that's good. It shows that they care for me. No, it doesn't. Not necessarily, or what, I don't know why that's a specific example, but you could be going back to certain, like I said, certain behaviors, you know, you were trying to, you know, break a habit of smoking or drinking or overeating. And then, you know, well, if I go to, you know, Burger King or McDonald's once this week, it's not going to kill me. That's true, but you're letting yourself in, you're letting that food addiction or that, you know, poor choice in, in, in diet in again. And if you do it today, then that means you'll do it again. And so some of you, in terms of breaking behaviors, are having a hard time going cold turkey on something. Stopping interacting with a person, stop interacting or, or, or letting in certain life choices with your diet, drinking, smoking, whatever. And others of you, it's something completely different. And so again, you're circling, but in a different way than that first group. Now, there was a third group and I'm not sure if they're gonna bring that back to me. There was a third group, what happened? Ah, thank you. <laughs> the third group, and this is for like only a few of you because if you've gotten this far and you're holding on, I think that you're kind of wanting to hear the rest of the story. For this third group, they don't wanna hear it at all, okay? So there's a third group of Leos who absolutely deny, 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 deny that something is wrong, yeah? Because this, for these people, is progressing here. It's, it's in the reverse and it's progressing towards that Ten of Swords, which means it's accepting pain. It's accepting betrayal. It's accepting being abandoned or feeling abandoned. There are some Leos who are just in a pity party or they're in this cycle of self-destruction and they don't mind or they're not aware they're they're ignoring it and like i said if you're still here and you're part of this third group you're probably going to click off soon uh, because this is not what you want to hear there's a third group a very small group of leos who are adhering to certain behaviors and cycles and a lack of motion also with the six of swords in reverse for all groups, but in particular this third group, a lack of motion, a lack of actual progress, helpful, con concise, and just effective progress. No, 
this person stays in self-belief or self-doubt and 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 or, uh, and 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 this idea of being trapped this person stays not knowing what they want and not really wanting to explore or exploring the wrong options again small group this third group but they're out there they're a part of this reading it's a general reading it's not for you specifically so i'm sorry to address this if, if this isn't you at all but there's someone out there who's deep in the pits deep in this swirl like a vortex and they're not going anywhere and some of them actually are in, 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 are enjoying the vortex they're enjoying the disarray the chaos the lack of of direction they're enjoying that things aren't going to plan for some reason they're enjoying it maybe it's a self-deprecation thing maybe so yes because of that they're feeling like they deserve it they're feeling like they should be punished they feel as though you know what i don't deserve nice things i don't deserve nice people around me I don't deserve to be treated nicely, so I should just give up. There's a there's a hopelessness there for this third group, okay? Now, I was just mentioning that the third group is moving towards this, and they're gonna I'm, I'm gonna talk about them fast and quickly because I feel that's for a small group and I want to get them out of the way. No offense. Ten of Swords reverse. Now, normally, no, not normally, but typically you would think that the Ten of Swords, number one, that's what it looks like up right. But you would think that in an reverse, oh, that's good. It's almost over. No. For that third group that we were just talking about, again, going right towards it. And the reversal means it's not moving for them. They're stuck. They're so stuck in something painful. And it could be circumstantial. I, let me say that as well. It could be something beyond their control. Could be a phase in their life. Like I said, some of you might have issues with anxiety, depression, etc., etc. et, cetera, et cetera. Um, And so it just could be the the way it's going to be for now okay uh but with that third group who aren't really progressing and they're in the vortex this is just going to weigh on them for a little bit it's just going to weigh on them for a little bit and it doesn't have to none of it has to you know if you're in the vortex if you're in the third group and you want out you can you can get out of it it will take more work than the previous two groups because they're already on that journey. They're already looking for an escape. They're already looking for a solution. If you're coming to this and you haven't thought of a solution, you haven't even tried a solution yet, you haven't even identified the problem, you got you got a long road ahead of you, but it is possible if you wanna get out of the vortex. Now, for those who are already on the journey, already trying to find solutions, already trying to face their problems, okay? Going to the 10 of swords, you will see some relief if you haven't already. Despite the missteps, despite having to come back and, and, and address something again and again over, you know, time and time and again. And that's uncomfortable for Leo. Leo definitely wants to be one and done in terms of problem solving. Like a challenge is a challenge, but when it's like three or four times, like what the hell am I doing with my life? You become agitated when you have to keep coming back to something. But in this particular case for the previous two groups, I feel as though there is a decrease in the pain. There is a decrease in the discomfort or or the lack of uh life is how they're just telling me the lack of life Ooh, is that it have some of you and that and that would make sense because we've talked considerably a, a good portion about your mental health right now so maybe that's it you've been in like this mental prison you've been in like this funk this emotional and mental funk and now even though you have to do it by circling back to things you don't want to revisit or you're having to think of new ways to conquer your problems, eventually, Leo, I think it is leading towards, you know, some sign of life, some sign of vitality, okay? So don't give up. Keep pressing ahead. And that kind of corners back down here where because you are, is that it? Yes. Okay. So for those who, again, you're reevaluating, you're going back, you're looking over things you may have overlooked before, you're trying things you haven't tried before, whatever. Remember what I said here about the King of Pentacles in reverse. A lot of you are impatient and you're frustrated. A lot of you are overspending or overindulging in things when you don't need to. 
And I think that is because you've seen a glimpse of what your life can be, what you, what the situation can turn into, what you have, of what might be available if such and such were to happen, if these things align, if these things go to plan, then all of that will open up for me. And you're anxious and you're anxious because you've just seen a slither of hope, a slither of change. And you're like, yes, this is it. And you're over anticipated. You're over anticipating. Uh, what's going to happen next. I can't fault you for that. I understand, completely understand, especially if you've been in here for a long time or you regularly come back to this space. It's like, holy hell, I thought I was over this. Nope, here I am again. So I get it. I get it. Mm. Now, this is kind of a curveball here underneath. This two of pentacles underneath that ten of swords and next to mm, hmm. It's a curveball because somewhere here I feel there's progress for you. But this indicates mm, a pause or a moment of indecision or a moment of uncertainty. And may, oh, thank you. I was like, why? Why is uncertainty good? Like they want me to say that this is good. And I'm like, no, traditionally it's not. This is good because Leo, you want to know. Yes. Yes. Sorry, I got super excited. <laughs> Okay, so remember how I attached this to this, and that's how my readings usually go. A lot of a lot of uh, symmetry happens in my readings, right? So this two attaches to that eight. Remember, I said the eight of cups is you're going out and you're exploring and you're trying to find your happiness. You want to get that ninth cup, that tenth cup, cup so that you can com complete your collection, and you're going. You don't know where you're going. You don't know how you're going to get there, but you know you must go. You're journeying. This guy is attached to that and why is that good because well not that why is it good but why are they telling me this is good for you leo you want to know where to go which road to take what stops to make what people to talk to what people to invite into your life etc etc you want the damn blueprint you want the playbook the two of pentacles does not come with a playbook but it's still okay like that's here we go they want me to say it's okay to be uncertain. It's okay to try new things or to have moments of, uh, should, it, should I go left? Should I go right? Sometimes that pause will bring in knowledge that you did not have before, or it might present new options that you didn't have before. So this intermediate pausing or this these moments where you're not, 100% sure Leo, you're not 100% confident Leo, which is something that, you know, you're known to be confident, assured, very well, excuse me, very well aware of who you are and what you want. I think for the moment, because again, this is just a tarot reading for March. It's very temporary. What I'm getting is that for the moment, for the foreseeable future, having indecision or having things not be so clear cut will work in your favor. Relax. Yes! Relax. Because remember, you're over here impatient. You're over here wanting results and you're not getting them the way you want them. Relax. You have to relax. Okay? And the Two of Pentacles is kind of, you know, in other traditional interpretations of this card, the Two of Pentacles is like fretting that he or she can't make a decision or they don't know what the right answer is. In this particular deck, not just because it's the happy deck, but I do feel in this instance, this two of pentacles is glad, is is reveling in the, oh, I don't know what, well, it could be this or it could be that and weighing the possibilities. And there's something fun, enjoyable. Re there's a There's a lack of tension there. And you have a lot of tense energy on the board. You have a lot of stressful energy on the board. So getting into that, I don't have to make a decision today. I don't have to know the answer tomorrow. I take every day as it comes. 
there will be a release for you. There will be some type of relaxation and you might be better aligned with going with the flow. And if at the moment you don't have the answers, that's the answer. I don't know. Sometimes that's the answer. I don't know. And that's okay. That's okay sometimes. Interesting, man. This is a, this is like a little layered, like a lasagna you've got. This is a layered message. Now your outcome, yikes, <laughs> but not really, uh, for March is the five of wands. Now I say yikes because obviously for the happy tarot, these guys don't look too happy. They look like they're in a fight, but it's not that bad because it is simply a five. So fives are surmountable energies. They're challenging, but they're short-lived. Uh, they're easily conquered through, you know, either the passage of time, they flare up and then they die down, or uh, just countermeasures, right? Proper countermeasures. Now, the five of wands, obviously, they're showing a disagreement between a group of people. So that might be you, you know, you might have new relationships, you might have new people that you're close with, you work with, whatever, and you might have little flare ups at the job or in your home. For some of you who are stuck in a place, maybe you're stuck in your parents' house or in an apartment complex that you hate, whatever. It could just be signaling some petty arguments with people that you're close to. But I'm feeling also for you, Leo, is that this could be not competition in the way that you might initially think of competition. I think competition is in like, you might find yourself wanting to get a handle on all of this that we've discussed previously. You want to focus on yourself. You want to take care of your own business. You want to see solutions happen. But then other things draw your attention away. That's the competition. So you might have personal problems you're dealing with, but then your friends call you up and is like, let me tell you about Shangela. Sh Shangela, really? Sorry, I was just looking up something <laughs> about Shangela. Anyway, so, you know, your friends might call you up and they want to, you know, talk your ear off about their problems. So it's like, I got my own stuff to deal with. I can't be on the phone with you all night. Something like that. Or you might find yourself wanting to kind of... <laughs> like, let off some steam. And maybe that's what some of you will do. And, you know, it's, it's, it's a short... Like I said, the fives are short. They're just bursts. They come and they go. It's really quick. But some of you might like take your frustration out on other people or you might let your frustrations out on a different situation that has nothing to do with anybody else. You know what I mean? So misdirection of, of your your energy could be uh, in the in the cards, but, you know, for some of you Leos. And I wouldn't recommend it, but like I said, it's a five, it's short lived. You might just think about it. You might just like entertain the idea and then, you know, you actually don't act on it. But I, I see that as a possibility. Like some of you are just like stirring the pot when it doesn't need to be stirred just so you don't have to think about this. And maybe that's for the vortex people, you know, group number three, maybe that's for you guys. Um, anything else with this? For some of you, this is going to be like involving people that are close to you, friends, family. Uh, and it's just like, uh, like petty arguments, like stupid stuff. People getting excited. It could just be passionate arguments about certain things. You know, wands do represent passion. So you could be having like friendly debates with your friends about like storylines in your favorite TV show. What are you talking about? He was in love with her. That's obviously why he did that. Da -da -da. You know, and it's just like, what are we really arguing about? It's nothing. So... As not so pleasant as that card might seem on the surface, it's really short-lived. It's nothing to be fretful of. You're good. And your best card is actually your overall energy, which is lovely. You have the King of Cups. And I shouldn't say it's your best card, because I feel you can get a lot from everything that we've talked about so far. But this is your best as, as in it's like undoubtedly positive. Like there, I feel there's like very little caution with this. King of Cups. So water sign energy, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces possibly uh, could be uh, someone external to you who is a water sign who is significant, but they don't have to be. Uh, but the King of Cups is that mellow, very emotionally balanced, very articulate with his emotions, not necessarily expressive, but certainly 
able to pinpoint and 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 express himself when need be and i'm saying he only because it's a king it could be a female in your life who's like this um and the king of cups is tender he's compassionate he's effusive you know he has access to his emotional depths and he's not ex afraid to explore them and i think that could be a, a, an energy that you're taking on to into yourselves uh, so this could be you giving yourself tender love and care, you being patient and kind with yourself, trying to not beat yourself up because things aren't going exactly according to plan or they're not happening on a certain timeline. Yeah. Um, if it's an external person, it could be a confidant, a counselor, a best friend, something like that. Somebody who hears your emotional distress and can bear the weight of it so you're crying on this person's shoulder you're sending them long text messages that you know are like those multimedia texts that you have to like click into and it's like a sometimes it's like a pdf it's so long something like that um and they're not judging if they're external to you as a therapist a friend whatever they're not judging you and actually they reflect a lot of what you're experiencing so if this is a friend they will tell you, oh girl, oh oh dude, I've been through that too, man. Let me tell you. Let me tell you my horror story. Let me tell you what how I uh, started to get uh, over my addictions or how I uh, got into certain activities that calmed my PTSD symptoms down or whatever. They are mirroring, not for all of you, because this obviously not every Leo wants to hear other people's sob stories when they're giving their sob stories like, oh, this is about me right now. Uh, so I know some of you are like, I don't want that. But for those of you where you don't mind it or you would benefit from it, this person will reflect back to you the pains, the trials, the tribulations that you have been through. You guys are very similar. Again, if this is an external person for some of you. And it's very good. Very good. Um, so from a counselor's perspective, a friend's perspective, Ooh, look at them. They're showing me the little hearts on the crown, three little hearts on the crown there. So they wanted me to quickly say that also could be romantic for a few of you that you're finding, you know, a little love connection with someone who has been through just as much pain as you. Isn't that nice? <laughs> and actually that might be nice. You know, sometimes for you, Leo or another person, you know, people are people. You don't want to be with someone who's like, quote unquote, better than you. Some people don't want that. Oh, you don't have a traumatic childhood? All your Christmases were full of love and affection? Oh God, we're not matched. You know, you would much rather be like, yeah, for Christmas, all I got was a lump of coal. Oh my God, that was my favorite present too. You know, you want that similarity. You know, <laughs> some of you, not all of you. <laughs> okay. All right, guys, that is your reading for March, 2019. A little the easiest but i hope you liked it for whatever it was worth for you if you did there's a like button down below please click it if you want to leave comments down below that would be amazing i'd love to see how this resonated with you it helps affirm me as a reader and you know i'm a little bit nosy i'm like oh okay because i'm kind of know what this means for me but i don't know what's going on with you guys uh <laughs> anyway also down there you're going to see this subscribe button if you want to subscribe to my channel go ahead and click that and also click the notification bell it'll let you know when i upload new content and you know it's a nice little tool that youtube you know lets me know hey people like your stuff and they keep coming back cool uh, and the last thing down there is the share button. If you want to share this across your social media page or platforms, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, your YouTube page, whatever. I'm totally into it. If you don't want to do any of those things, I am cool with that too, man. I roll with the punches around here, okay? All right, Leo, I'm going to be back in about three to four weeks when I bring you your April 2019 reading. Until then, I thank you guys so, so much for watching. Take care. Bye.